In this tutorial, we are going to talk about include keyword. Using include keyword, you can include YAML files in your configuration. So you can break down one long GitLab YAML file into multiple files to increase readability and reduce duplication of the same configuration in multiple places. We are going to store template file in one repository and then include this file in other projects. There are four types of includes. You can include a file from the local project repository. You can include a file from a different project repository, which uh, we will use. You can also include a file from a remote URL. Uh, it must be pub publicly accessible, of course. And you can include templates that are provided by GitLab. As, a, as I said before, we are going to use include file. And with this, you can include files from another private project under, under the same GitLab instance. Why should you do that? Using uh, include keyword makes sense if you have many projects which are very similar. This way you don't have to copy and paste your code and you still can customize everything you want. So firstly, you have to prepare the template file, the file which you are going to include in other projects. Here is the example of such file. I'll provide links in the description so you don't have to write by yourself everything. The purpose of this video is to just show you the idea behind the include keyword. So, uh, so we are going to just uh, echo every comment. We don't have to run these comments. It's very easy pipeline. We just want to build something, then we want to, to test it. And after tests, we want to deploy it automatically. So we have the template file and now we want to use it in our project. Here is our uh, simple service and we are going to create uh, GitLab CI GitLab YAML file and now we are going to include the template file you can also uh, include the keyword ref and now you can specify from which branch you want to include this file. We are going to include this file from branch master. And uh, you can see that everything works fine. Uh, this project just included the file from, from, this, pro from this project. and uses it as a pipeline. Okay, great. So now let's say that in this project, in the project simple service, we don't have Docker file. Let's assume that our Docker file has uh, other, other name. And this is the only difference. So we still want to build the image, but the name of Docker file has changed. So can we still use this uh, GitLab CI template? Yes, we can, we can still use, but uh, we need to add some logic for it. And it would be nice to add uh, the name of the Docker file as a uh, environment variable. Yeah, 
that's it. And now, by default, it will use uh, this uh, this value as a docker file, but now we can go to our project and and now we can edit this this variable. How can we do that? We need we just need to edit this file and add. This section we we don't want to uh, change this this variable so we can remove it and now let's say that our docker file is called let's see the preview the changes and commit changes and now we can go to the pipelines and see our changes are working and yeah Everything works as we want it. We still use the template, but we overwrite one nth variable. At the end, I want to show you how you can lint your GitLab CI YAML file, because I assume that you want to know that something is wrong with your with your template before committing changes. No one likes broken master branch. So you can use uh, a tool, CI uh, Lint, and how to use it. Firstly, you just uh, copy the the code from from GitLab CI YAML file. Go to pipelines and click on the CI lint button. And here you can paste your changes. And click on the button validate. And, and here you can see the preview of the pipeline. Let's, uh, let's break something. For example, let's uh, add the value for the keyword when is of course invalid. So let's see what CI lint uh, will tell us. Syntax is incorrect. CI configuration validated including all configuration added with the includes keyword you can see the the message of the error so when the, the when keyword should be one of on success on failure always manual or delayed so let's change it to change it to manual and our status is again green so this way you can validate your uh, your template and I encourage you to use it. And that's it. It is my first video about GitLab YAML files. So if you have any comments, please let me know. I'm going to create more videos about pipelines and, and thank you for watching.